October 2025, a lab in Canada. A single fiber no thicker than a human hair lifts an object 2,000 times its own weight. In Georgia, a robotic eye focuses on an ant's leg hair without any power source. In China, a humanoid robot cheaper than your smartphone blinks with unsettling realism. And almost nobody outside these labs knows this is happening right now. This isn't some far future prediction. What I'm about to show you represents a convergence of breakthroughs that robotics engineers have been chasing for decades, and they all just happened at once. By the end of this video, you'll understand why one of the world's top investors just called humanoid robots the biggest of all AI opportunities and why she might actually be underselling it. Drop a comment below. I read every single one. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than first-hand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai labs. Let me start with something that sounds impossible. Researchers at the University of Waterloo just created an artificial muscle that's nine times stronger than previous materials and three times more powerful than mammalian muscle. Here's what that actually means. A fiber from this material can lift 2000 times its own weight. If you had muscles like this, you could bench press a fully loaded semi truck. But here's the part that's blowing engineers' minds. These aren't rigid motors or hydraulic systems. These are soft, flexible materials that you can bend, twist, and stretch without breaking them. The breakthrough came from mixing liquid crystals, yes, the same compounds in your phone screen, into elastomers, which are rubber-like materials that expand and contract with heat. When the researchers examined these new materials under x-ray analysis, they discovered something remarkable. The liquid crystals formed tiny pockets throughout the elastomer. They described it as like chocolate chips in cookie dough. These pockets behave like solids while the surrounding material stays flexible. Dr. Hamid Shasavan, who led the research, put it simply, this is the simplest yet most robust strategy to stiffen liquid crystal elastomers and still maintain their programmable nature. But here's where it gets wild. The research team's next step is using these enhanced materials as inks for three-dimensional printing custom artificial muscles on demand for any application you can imagine. Think about what that means. Downloadable robot muscles, custom designed for specific tasks, printed in hours instead of manufactured over months. Now let me show you something even stranger. Scientists just created a robotic eye that focuses automatically without any batteries, electronics, or external power source whatsoever. The lens is made from a hydrogel embedded with tiny graphene oxide particles. When light hits these particles, they heat up. The hydrogel shrinks, the lens focuses. When the light is removed, the hydrogel swells and releases tension. The whole system is powered by the very light it's trying to capture. This isn't just clever engineering, it's powerful. The lens can see details as small as four micrometers. That's small enough to distinguish individual hairs on an ant's leg. Small enough to see the lobes on a pollen grain. But here's what makes this genuinely revolutionary. The researchers are integrating this lens into microfluidic systems where the same light used to make the image also powers the entire intelligent camera system. Corey Junk, the doctoral student who developed this, explained we can actually control the lens in really unique ways. Because the hydrogel is adaptable, they can design it to mimic vision systems that humans don't have. Want to see like a cat with vertical pupils that detect camouflaged prey? They can do that. 
Want to copy a cuttlefish's W-shaped retina that sees colors humans can't perceive? That's possible too. We're talking about robot vision that doesn't just match human eyes, it surpasses them. And it runs on nothing but ambient light. China just built a humanoid robot that costs less than most smartphones. Just two years ago, advanced humanoid robots cost $80,000 to $150,000. They were luxury items for research labs and well-funded tech companies. But China didn't just make robots cheaper. They made them eerily lifelike. One Chinese tech company just unveiled an ultra-realistic robot face that blinks, twitches, and nods with unsettling human-like movement. You'll feel something in your gut saying that's wrong because your brain knows it shouldn't be possible yet. Here's why this matters beyond the creep factor. When breakthrough technology becomes affordable, adoption accelerates exponentially. The first computers cost millions and filled entire rooms. When they hit $2,000, they went into every office. When they hit 500, they went into every home. We're watching that same pattern compress into an impossibly short time frame with robotics, and China is betting everything on being first to market. Kathy Wood runs Arc Invest, one of the most forward-thinking investment firms in tech. She correctly predicted Tesla's explosive growth. She saw the AI revolution before most investors took it seriously. She said something that should make everyone pay attention. I think the chaser is going to be humanoid robots, and I think that is going to be the biggest of all the embodied AI opportunities. Not just big, the biggest. But here's what she said that most news outlets didn't emphasize. I am really excited about not just shopping, but how much my productivity as an individual is going to increase with AI. It already has in terms of research. Wood is talking about personal productivity multiplication. She's talking about AI assistance integrated with robotics becoming as common as smartphones. When asked about enterprise adoption, Wood noted that while large corporations will need time to restructure, requiring companies like Palantir to go in and completely reorganize them to capitalize on AI productivity gains, consumers are already embracing this technology. I think we're all looking forward to our personal assistants doing our shopping for us, she said. Now here's the controversial part. Wood acknowledged there's potential for a short-term reality check as markets adjust to the pace of change. But she emphasized that elevated big tech valuations focused on robotics will make sense over a five-year time horizon. In other words, the market thinks these companies are overvalued. Wood is saying they're actually underpriced for what's coming. Her fund's top holdings tell the story. Tesla at 9.16%, Palantir at 7.02%, AMD at 6.14%. She's betting billions that humanoid robots will transform multiple industries simultaneously. And Elon Musk himself said that Tesla's Optimus robots will eventually represent 80% of the company's value. Not 10%, not 30%, 80%. Let me give you some examples of what's already operational, not in labs, but in real-world application. There's a humanoid robot called NEO that folds laundry, tidies up your house, and learns new tasks over time through AI. It's shipping to customers right now. A humanoid robot called Ollie just demonstrated an autonomous get-up routine, meaning it taught itself how to stand up from different positions without human programming. Scientists taught an AI-powered robot dog to play badminton against humans, not just hit the shuttlecock randomly, actually compete in sustained rallies, and it's getting better. These aren't prototypes sitting in university research labs waiting for funding, these are commercial products and near-commercial systems being refined for mass deployment. 
But here's what makes this different from previous waves of robotics. Google DeepMind just released AI models specifically designed to give robots a massive intelligence boost. Models that help machines understand the physical world and make autonomous decisions. For decades, robotics has been limited by the gap between physical capability and cognitive ability. You could build robots that were strong and precise, but they couldn't adapt. They couldn't reason. They couldn't learn from mistakes. That gap just closed. Here's what's actually happening and why it's so significant. First, we have materials breakthroughs. Soft robotic muscles 2,000 times stronger than before. Robot eyes that run on light. Flexible sensors that can detect touch, pressure, and temperature. Second, we have AI breakthroughs. Models that understand physics, predict outcomes, plan complex sequences of actions, and improve themselves through experience. Third, we have manufacturing breakthroughs. Three-dimensional printed muscles, robots cheaper than phones, supply chains optimized for mass production. Each of these alone would be significant. All three happening simultaneously creates a convergence that even experts didn't predict. Dr. Shasavan, the researcher behind the artificial muscles, said, Materials with such capabilities are highly desired in robotics, as they can replace old-school, bulky, heavy actuators and electromotors with light, soft, artificial muscles without sacrificing performance. That last phrase is crucial, without sacrificing performance. We're not trading strength for flexibility. We're getting both. Let's get specific about applications because robots will change everything is too vague to be useful. Medical robotics, soft robots with superhuman strength can perform minimally invasive surgeries with precision impossible for human hands. They can deliver drugs to specific locations inside your body. They can assist in physical therapy with perfectly calibrated resistance. Manufacturing flexible robots can work alongside humans safely. They can handle delicate electronics without crushing them. They can adapt to new tasks without being completely reprogrammed. Personal assistants, robots that fold your laundry, clean your house, help elderly people maintain independence, and assist people with disabilities in ways that weren't previously possible. Dangerous environments, soft robots can navigate collapsed buildings during rescue operations. They can work in contaminated areas where humans can't go. They can explore terrain where rigid robots would break down. But here's what's really interesting. The researchers designing the robotic eye specifically mentioned it could be integrated into autonomous soft robots without any electronic components. That means robots that can operate in environments where electronics would fail underwater in extreme temperatures in high radiation zones. We're not just making robots more capable. We're making them work in places where robots couldn't function before. Here's what terrifies me in the good way, but also the we need to prepare way. Every timeline for robotics development keeps getting shorter. In 2020, experts said affordable humanoid robots were 10 to 15 years away. Now they cost less than $1,000 in China. In 2022, experts said soft robotics wouldn't match the strength of traditional systems for decades. Now they're three times stronger than mammalian muscle. In 2023, experts said robot vision would always need sophisticated electronics and power sources. Now, we have eyes that run on sunlight. The pattern is clear. We're consistently underestimating how fast this technology is advancing. And that's not because experts are bad at predictions. It's because the breakthroughs are compounding. Each advancement enables the next one. Stronger muscles allow for more complex movements. Better vision enables more sophisticated tasks. Cheaper manufacturing accelerates deployment. AI integration multiplies the capability of every physical improvement. Here's what bothers me about most robotics coverage. Everyone asks, when will robots be affordable? Or when will robots be capable? But almost nobody asks. 
What happens when both occur simultaneously? Because that's what's happening. We're getting capability breakthroughs and cost reductions at the same time. We're getting robots that are stronger, smarter, more flexible, and cheaper than ever before, all in the same month. This has never happened in the history of technology. Every previous revolution involved trade-offs. Better but more expensive, cheaper but less capable, faster but less reliable. Not this time. Right now, look, I know this feels overwhelming, but here's the thing, this isn't happening to you. This is happening around you and you get to decide how you respond. If you're in business, you need to be asking, how can robots augment what my team does? Not replace, augment. The companies that figure out human robot collaboration first will have an insurmountable advantage. If you're investing, you need to understand that robotics isn't a sector anymore. It's infrastructure. Every industry will be transformed by this technology, which means the question isn't, should I invest in robotics? But rather, which industries are getting disrupted first? If you're a parent, you need to be preparing your kids for a world where human-robot interaction is as normal as using a smartphone. That means focusing on skills that complement robots rather than compete with them. Creativity, emotional intelligence, strategic thinking, ethical reasoning. And if you're a worker in any field, you need to be developing expertise in managing, programming, or maintaining robotic systems. Because in five years, works well with robots will be as important as works well with computers is today. The robotic eye that runs on light isn't a prototype. It's published research ready for commercialization. The artificial muscles that lift 2,000 times their weight aren't theoretical. They exist right now in labs, being prepared for three-dimensional printing. The $99 humanoid robot isn't vaporware. Chinese consumers are buying them today. The AI that gives robots human-like understanding isn't coming. Google DeepMind released it this month. Every single thing I've shown you in this video is real, operational, and happening right now in October 2025. The question isn't whether the robot revolution will happen. The question is, will you be ready when it does? We're witnessing something unprecedented in human history. The simultaneous breakthrough of material science, artificial intelligence, and manufacturing technology converging to create robots that are stronger, smarter, more capable, and cheaper than anything we've seen before. This isn't incremental progress. This is exponential. And if you're watching this video, you're among the first people outside these research labs to understand what's really happening. The robots aren't coming, they're here. They have superpowers and everything is about to change. If this video opened your eyes to what's really happening in robotics, hit that subscribe button. I am in the research trenches every single day and I'll keep you ahead of these massive shifts. Drop a comment and let me know which breakthrough shocked you the most the super strong muscles, the self-powered eye, or the $99 robot. Because honestly, I still can't decide which one is going to transform our world faster. Let's navigate this robot revolution together. Whether we're ready or not, the future just arrived. See you down the next rabbit hole. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.